Okay, this video is going to be how to apply the 1.14 update for Graceborn. Um, you should already have 1.14. If you don't, you could download that and watch my other ultimate quote-unquote guide. And it would like explain all the issues you should have and how to fix it and how to install it and how to install also Seamless if that's what you want also. Which again, you will have to also update this since everything pretty much needs an update the new update that just dropped which is the 1.14 so after you get the main 1.13 and you watch the guy you did all of that or you already you know had the game but you're trying to learn how to update it you're just gonna download the 1.14.1 update you just hit on manual download slow download or whatever you want to choose i pick slow download and it should give you it should give you a zip folder so also make sure this is all on the same hard drive of your game so wherever your game is installed you have to make sure mod engine 2 is also installed in the same hard drive which you already know if you watched the original video so basically i made a folder so i could have everything organized in a sense but once you extract this um it will give you a mod folder which is this right here what i like to do is just click inside the mod folder and just copy everything that's in there and then I go into my mod engine 2 folder and inside you should have depending what you have it most likely will come with like a mod folder if you already got the game already or played it before or download the 1.13 and the mod engine 2 this and this this should all be in here basically all of these should be in here everything else is extra stuff obviously these two things are for seamless so don't worry about that and also the local file so what you want to do is just go inside your mod folder since that's where it's supposed to be and just paste it in here i already did it so i'm just gonna do it again and as you can see it should upload the regulation bin the parts para and action and you can tell it updated because they changed uh, the date i believe if you were playing the 1.13 version um before this update i think uh the file was like 9 to 11 24 or regulation bin so once it hits like 9 12 after you paste it then you know it works so just make sure it pretty much overwrites these files folders after that you pretty much just go to your launch mod other ring and just launch it by just double clicking if you for some reason have an issue launching this there's other ways in my other ultimate guys to like help you with that another way i had to do since i had um i had my grace born on another hard drive and i moved it to this g drive so let me show you what I did just in case you're having that issue and it doesn't launch at all. So in here I posted someone else that commented something and um, we're going to be focusing on this right here, this highlight, which again, you can see this in the Graceborn uh, Nexus uh, mods page and just go to post and it should be pinned and it should be right here. Um, basically what you want to do is you want to right click launch uh, mod elder ring dot bat and hit edit i already edited it so it like works for me but i also have what it looked like before somewhere it looked like this for before which always worked for me but like i said i moved everything around in my pc so just in case you have the same issue or it's not launching for you you could try this method also so normally it would look like something like this this is like default how it look like so what you want to do is just copy i would say where it says uh quotation c games grace born over whatever you just copy that and then you're gonna go into that notepad and then what you want to replace is this and just paste it here now what you have to do is look where um basically you want to look i don't know how to explain this but <laughs> um so you want to go to where your mod engine to launch your application is so for me it will be because i have to also find that it'll be here so basically what you want to do is go on the top consider this a url sorry for the noise in the background I live in new york uh you're going to copy address as text and you're going to replace everything before that the slash you're going to put it after the rotation so you're going to start from c all the way to two of mod engine two and then you're just going to paste it so now it says where my path is actually is, which would be Graceborn, Mod Engine 2, and then the Mod Engine 
launcher, which is already in there. The next one over here starts uh, C programs, yada yada. But when you look at the end, basically what it's looking for is the path to the Elden Ring game. So another way you could do this is by going to Steam and just right clicking uh, Elden Ring, go to manage and browse local files. And it should open what the game is. So what you want to do is click inside the game folder. And then again, you're going to go on the top here and you're going to right click, click copy address as text. Then you're going to go back into that notepad. And now you're going to go behind that slash where it says Elder Ring dot exe and all the way up to where it says C. So after the quotation mark, I hope you can see that you're going to paste it there. So now you have your own path where, where uh, Elder Ring is installed. Then the last thing is to find the config file for Elder Ring, which should be your mod uh, folder, mod engine folder. So you're going to go to your mod engine folder, and as you can see, it'll be this right here. So you got to just copy where it is. Again, go on top, right click, and then you're going to, after the slash or before the slash, all the way up to the C, and then paste. And then you just save it like that. Okay, I don't have to save it because this actually was a test. I already did everything. Um, but that's if it doesn't like launch off the rip, or like if you had my situation where everything was like on a different hard drive, you gotta, like move everything over. Sometimes this is just to be more accurate, so it knows exactly where everything is and it doesn't have to like go crazy and try to look for it. So after that, you just launch mod. It should load up um, the logo and everything for a grace bar. Once you see this, you're in, you're in. You're pretty much set. Like I said, if you have any other issues, please go to my ultimate guide video. Uh, let me just mute that because I know it's loud. Um, said, make sure you got, you know, all that other stuff. Make sure on the bottom, even when you start the game normally, make sure when you update it is the app version 1.14, which is on the bottom where my mouse is right here. And the calibration version 1.14.1, which is the update you get from Graceborn also. And that's pretty much it. You could just load up the game and continue. I can't even show you that it works. And like I said, if you have any other issues, like I said, some of the issues so usually if your game, your game has to be in English or if you have like save data issues, again, this my ultimate guide explains all of that. But as you see, the game runs just fine and it works again. So, yeah. <laughs>